New tonight, some little witches and warlocks will have to be brave debris lined streets this Halloween. Many areas of Charlotte County are still in cleanup mode after facing Hurricane Milton's wrath. The night beats Haley Zarconi joins us live. Haley, are many people going to be trick or treating this year with all that debris? Well, I sure hope so, because look at this house. I mean, they are all decked out and ready for Thursday. The county says that they do expect trick or treaters to still be out even amidst the debris like this neighborhood in downtown Punta Gorda is seeing, but they are urging parents and trick or treaters to be safe around that debris. We've got glass shards, pieces of broken furniture, you name it. It's out here on the streets and they want you to avoid it as you're going door to door to get your candy. And they've also said that downtown Punta Gorda will not be holding their regular Halloween festivities. But as you can see here, we're in high spirits ahead of Thursday, even amidst everything that these hurricanes have left behind. Skeletons, sharks and sofas. Oh my, I love Halloween. So like to see everything decorated is like cool. I think there's going to be damage, so I don't know like how it's going to go. Just days from trick or treaters. Debris still haunts part of Charlotte County. So far we've collected 57 cubic yards of debris, almost all of it construction and demolition debris. That's about three and a half football fields worth of debris, 10 feet high. And our priority is to hit, get the hardest hit areas first. Costumes already waiting on candy. Sour gummies. Okay. Sour worms. Good kiddos know this year will be different. It's usually like really packed and like all the houses are like decorated with stuff and all the kids are like going trick or treating and stuff. But I don't think it's gonna be like that this year since the storm. I think it's going to be like a lot less packed while they're picking up sweets. Parents hope this graveyard of Hurricane Helene and Milton can get cleaned up. It's slow, slow, slow but we're getting there. It's starting to try to get, you know, everyone's trying to get back to normal. Just weeks ago, Governor Ron DeSantis announced that nearly 3000 people from various agencies across the state would be helping us continue to recover from these hurricanes. So today I reached out to the state to see if anyone was sent here to Southwest Florida to help us as far as debris pickup. I haven't heard back from them yet, but if Halloween and trick or treating are in the cards for you in your neighborhood this week, there are still events open to you. For example, the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office has their annual trunk or treat cops and goblins event and for more information on that you can go to winknews.com on the night beat haley zarconi wink news